Okay, so we're going to put a bioclusive dressing since Lana still has her steri strips, and those usually, our surgeons don't use staples very often, and these will usually stay on about two to three weeks before they fall off on their own. So we can do a little protecting. So I put a four by four on first so that when I peel off the off side, I don't peel off all of her steri strips. Can you bend mm -hmm. back just a bit? Mm -hmm. And we'll have her flex her knee as far as she can so that the first time she flexes her knee in the water, it doesn't float the off site. And then we make sure that we just create a really good seal so that there are no wrinkles that go all the way to the center of her incision, or else it kind of creates a little channel for the fluid. Much easier than a trash bag and tape. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little bit. So much easier. All right. Can we talk, can we talk just real quick about how many of those we've done uh, without? Well, we figured that we have seen um, around 600 total knee and hip patients in this pool in the last 10 months, and almost all of them get offsite put on them. We've never had a post-operative infection caused by our pool. I've never had a wound dehiss because of our pool. So I have, a, I have at this point, a 0% infection rate. 